Our flight today is from Bob Hope, Burbank, California to Santa Maria Allen Hancock Field. We will depart Burbank on Van Nuys 3 departure from runway 26, with vectors to FIM. From there we will pick up Victor Airway 386 and fly to RZS, then to Cox, where we will receive vectors to runway 30, flying the GPS runway 30 area nav approach. Let's connect the GPU. Now hit enter on the MFD display. Press the flight plan button FPL, and we can see KBUR. Press the cursor to highlight it. Then press procedure. Select departure. Then hit enter. Scroll down and select VNY3, then enter. Scroll down to runway 26, and enter then to FIM, then ENTER. Load by pressing ENTER again. Then you can see the departure in the flight plan summary from runway 26 on a heading of 259. Hence vectors to VNY. Then IPIHO to SWANA, then FIM. Now let's input Victor 386 airway to RZS. Scroll down till underneath FIM. Hit menu. Then load airway. Scroll down and select Victor 386. Hit enter. Then scroll down to RZS and hit enter. Then load. Enter. Scroll all the way down again and then let's input Cox and the destination airport. Before this hit the K key. It will light up so you can input waypoints directly from your keyboard. Now let's input Cox and hit enter twice. Now for the destination, type KSMX and hit enter twice. That's it, you've created your first flight plan. You may store it by hitting menu. And select store flight plan. Or, better yet, let's put in the approach we expect at Santa Maria. Hit procedure. Then scroll up over select approach. Hit enter. Scroll down to our NV30 RNP. And hit enter. Vectors is highlighted. Then hit enter. Minimums is highlighted. This will turn on a window in the PDF display where minimum altitude will be displayed if landing under IFR. Rotate the cursor to change off to barometer and hit enter. Don't worry about setting the altitude as this can be set later in the PDF display. Hit enter twice then again to load the approach. Now let's pull up the flight plan again. The approach is loaded. We won't fly to Elsus, as we will be flying vectors from Cox bypassing Elsus. So scroll up to Cox under altitude and input 2500 feet and hit enter. This will enable the G1000 to calculate a descent rate from your cruise altitude. You may have noticed after your input to 2500 feet the VNV profile will be calculated at Cox. Now scroll down all the way till the descent angle is minus 2.5 degrees. This can be changed by rotating the cursor dial. 2.5 is a comfortable descent rate, but if you prefer the standard 3 degrees you can change it for a speedier descent. Air traffic control will change all your planning anyway so it's just a guideline when enjoying a flight on your own. So now you can hit enter and close the flight plan. I hope you have enjoyed this short tutorial, we will continue on our flight using the G1000 on future videos. Look forward to your response. Happy flying!